Hey everyone, um, I have not made a video in a while, um, but um, I wanted to make a video kind of about something that I've already made a video about in the past, but um, was it's kind of outdated now, it's old and you know, whatever. My hair is kind of like voluminous because I have naturally wavy hair so when I straighten it it's kind of poofy sometimes but once it gets long it won't be like that sorry that was really random um that's not what I was going to talk about um what I was going to talk about is how I get my eyelashes super fucking long as you can see they're very long and I'm getting really close to the camera um okay so there's this, like, natural way. I found this out from a girl on YouTube who has, like, a disorder with, like, hair or something. And, like, her eyelashes, like, fall out and shit. And I think she said something about, like, her hair fell out, too, or something. Like, on her head fell out. Um, but, yeah, I use this amazing stuff called castor oil. It has to be cold pressed, hence it says cold pressed at the bottom, because if it's not cold pressed, it's not going to work. Um, but yeah, I have this like huge bottle of it and I got some cat hair on it because it sticks and it's like, I don't know, it's a really thick consistency, but, um, if you get a bottle as big as the one that I just showed you it'll last forever. All I do is like stick my finger in it and before I go to bed and then I rub it on like both my uh, eyelashes and it makes my eyelashes really long. Um, she, or I also do wear a lot of mascara though as you can see but um, at the same time like my eyelashes do not, did not look that long uh, before I started using it. Um, I definitely would recommend it. Um, I've been using it for a while now. Um, I haven't seen any like huge results like that one girl, but I don't know how long she's been using castor oil on her eyelashes. Um, it might, like I've been doing it for a while, but then I stopped using it for like a really long time, like a year. Um, because I was wearing fake eyelashes all the time and I just didn't care to wear mascara and then I just eventually got sick of it and I wanted to wear mascara again. So, um, also part of that though was, um, I, when I was wearing, um, fake eyelashes, I would want them to last longer. So I started using the individual lash glue on my eyelashes. Don't do that. Don't do not do that. Um, and I was pulling it off and it like plucked my eyelashes out. So as you know, if you pluck eyelashes out, they take a very, 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 very long time to grow back. So, it was, like, about a year, not a year, but it was, like, a long, like, five months for my fucking eyelashes to grow back. They did not look this nice. They, I had, like, a bunch of them, like, plucked out, and it looked horrible. So, like, I started using a different thing. I know I'm getting a little off topic here, but this, will, this information will actually help you if you are a um, fake eyelash fan like I was for the longest time. Um, I started using, um, so, you know, hair extension glue that you use to, like, glue your extensions in your hair? Well, um, I would actually get the dark kind, obviously. You're not going to want to get the blonde, like, the white kind, because then you're obviously going to notice it. But what I would do is I would, um, put the black glue on um, the eyelash and then I would literally glue it to my eyelashes 
This worked a lot better than the individual lash glue because you could still pull it off. It was strong enough that you could fall asleep with them in, but it was also weak enough that you could pull them out without plucking out your eyelashes. So yeah, random fact, that helps and it's awesome and that's what I use now for glue. I do not... It, I do not glue it to my eyelid. I glue it to my eyelashes and it lasts, lasts way longer. Anyways, so as for the castor oil, I put it on every night. You don't need a shit ton of it. I mean, I just bought a big one because it's going to last me for like ever. I had one that was like not even that size. It was like maybe, it was like this tall, but it was like this like big around maybe a little bit bigger like this big around and it was a glass bottle and that lasted me a really long time um so i i like never really ran out of it so like basically what i'm saying is is um it's awesome the fuck hold on sorry i'm like Anyways, I guess I got some shit in the castor oil. The fuck? That is weird. Anyways, sorry. Um, <laughs> it's got, like, weird, like, fluff balls in it. I do have a cat, though, so whatever. But anyways, um, and you just stick your finger in it, and it's just, it's, I don't know how hair got into it, but then again, who knows. Um... <clears throat> but yeah, so it definitely does work. Um, I personally love it. I put it on, um, well, not every night, but I try to put it on every night. Some nights I'm a little just too lazy, so I don't do it. Um, but I um, try to use it every night. And you can use this on your hair, too. <clears throat> you can use this on your eyebrows, anywhere where there's hair. It'll grow your hair. Um, so, yeah. Um, I bet if you put it on your armpits, too, it would probably grow your armpit hair, which is kind of weird to say, but whatever. Um, but, yeah. So, like, I know some girls have used it to make their hair grow faster, but I don't really like to put oil in my hair. Because um, then it, may, it makes my hair look really greasy, and I just don't like that. And I already have, like, naturally greasy hair, so I take a shower every single day. Or night, depending on when I feel like doing it. But, um, and my hair gets greasy if I don't. Like, if I miss one shower, my hair gets greasy and I'm like, ew, I hate this. So, I don't really like putting it in my hair, but it does make your hair grow faster and it does make your eyelashes grow. And, um, it does make any hair grow. I have tried it on my eyebrows before, and yes, it'll make your eyebrows grow too, but it looked really stupid, so I stopped doing it, and I just, like, cut them, and then they grew back normal. Um, but, uh, recommendation. Put it on before you go to bed. You don't want to walk around looking like a weirdo with this, like, watery stuff on your eyes. It's going to look like you're crying. Um, also, you know, I mean, if you wear makeup during the day, obviously put put it on at night but it does work and um that's my little secret so you guys know um but what i use for hair growth random note um instead of that stuff uh i use mane and tail my hair has gotten pretty fucking long uh i did cut it because it's a little uneven as you can see like this side's like the same length as the back but this side isn't but, I mean, you know, I'm going to fix it, obviously, as it starts to grow out more. But I don't want to keep chopping my hair off, you know what I mean? Like, I want it to hurry the fuck up and grow. That's all I care about. I've been trying to grow my hair out for three fucking years. And I just kept damaging it. So, you know, now I'm not doing that anymore. Um, now I just dye my roots. But anyways, uh, yeah. So, I hope you guys like the video. Uh, leave comments below if you have any questions. I'll try to answer them the best I can. I am not a professional, but I definitely have a lot of um, knowledge when it comes to castor oil. Okay, bye.